Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the six highest skill cap brawlers currently in Brawl Stars. So I get this question asked quite a lot, to be honest. So I thought I'd make, actually make a video on it, seeing as you guys wanted to see it. So these are going to be, in my opinion, what brawlers require the most skill to perfect and play really well at a high level. So before we get into today's video, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video or a stream. And also make sure you're using any credit code in the, in the shop. And if, of course, if you want to support me, use code spend but yeah without further ado let's jump straight into it all right guys so moving on to the sixth brawler with the highest skill cap in the game in my opinion it's going to be nanny so nanny the main reason why nanny's so uh, much of a high skill cap because it can be really hard to consistently hit those shots especially when facing a good uh, players especially with the meta now it's got so much like max and so much brawlers with so much like agility and so many different uh, things like that it can be really hard to consistently hit your shots especially at a tough level like i said the main thing is like when i'm playing nanny it can be really hard to even like get that 2.9k shot on especially in comparison to other long range brawlers like piper like bell like byron their shots are so much more easier to consistently hit shots with but for me nanny is actually really hard to do well with so at the moment we're really not doing good because we're not concentrating too well but yeah on those long range maps like shooting star like bot drop like nanny can be a really good brawler if you hit your shots but you can quickly see how hard it can be to hit the shots also the peep head like against the top tier players as well it can require a lot of skill you've also got to be calculating a lot with the nanny uh, return to sender gadget you've got to be making sure you've got that into consideration a lot of the times and as i said also with this peep you need to realize like when you can actually kill people at a certain distance so here probably kill penny see look just literally, literally a little bit short but then again about to kill us so yeah the main mechanic is just a nanny shot i find it so hard especially in a 1v1 situation nanny versus nanny or just any brawler down the lane I, it really is hard to consistently hit those shots over and over again so i'll be saying at the end of the video as well like brawlers that just missed out on the list so make sure you're sticking to the, to the end of the video because there's a few brawlers here which you might think oh how's that made the list but I'll mention a few of them which I think could have easily made the list as well. But Nanny, I don't really see a lot of people excel well with a Nanny. So that's the main reason why I've got so high. So I'm just going to circle this head round. Probably can actually end it here if this one actually protects me. Let's see. 145 HP. Okay, yeah, this should be GG moment right here. So Nanny, that's going to be it. So her range as well as the just uh, really hard mechanic to consistently hit shots with. It's going to be the main reason why Nanny is hard to use. So I haven't really got many tips to use Nanny. It's just you've got to play the brawler a lot learn like the movement strategies with the opponents probably save a little bit of ammo because it can hard to consistently hit shots with her but she's going to be the sixth high skill cap brawler in my opinion let's hop into number five all right guys so jumping into the fifth high skill cap brawler in the game it's going to be gene so it might be a little bit biased but i did ask quite a few people uh, what they thought of the list and just who's the high skill cap in general and most did agree that gene should be on there the main reason for this like you auto aim a lot with gene but you've really got to consider your matchups you've got to consider like when to pull how to pull there's a lot to consider with gene and he is really high skill cap as i said so i do main gene a lot he's one of the main brawlers well, that i play for a lot of the time so that's why i'm so good with him for the majority of the time but i rarely rarely see to be honest, a lot of good genes in competitive. Like, I can only really name a few genes that are, like, really outstanding. And a lot of things can go wrong. Once you miss a few pulls with gene, you can see how it will quickly spiral out of control. Especially now, it takes four shots to actually hit your pull. With gene, it can be really, really bad. Of course, I'm not really playing the best gene here. It's kind of hard to show how, like, how much of a skill cap there is really inside of, like, when you're playing with randoms. But in competitive, it's, like, really decisive. If you miss that gene pull, that could be literally the turning point of the game that you needed. And if you miss it, like, it literally can turn, like, whether you've won a game or not. So, for me, the biggest tip for Gene is just, just obviously, just play Gene a lot. But kind of learn the range with Gene's pulls. So, a lot of times, I I actually learned how to uh, all swim a lot of Gene pulls is by manual aiming. That sounds weird, but a lot of times, I just learned the manual aim range. And then, like, in the back of my mind, I kind of knew... Uh, when i can pull a person and when i can't especially with a max speed as well you can really pull people from far away so you can see there just a little quick <laughs> quick flick to the right and i can pull someone just learning gene like that can be really good and he's one of these brawlers where literally a pull can decide the majority of the game so it's a good uh thing to learn how to play gene a lot because he really is meta in a lot of different metas and yeah he's just really good to use so gene he's going to be the fifth high skill cap brawler in the game in my opinion Let's hop into number four. All right, guys, so moving into the fourth high skill cap brawler in Brawl Stars is going to be Colt. So Colt, when he used to be good with his uh, old gadget, Silver Bullet one, he really was like the easiest brawler to play. 
because it used to do like 3k damage but now Colt back to his normal state he is a really high skill cap brawler so the majority of the time it can be really hard to consistently hit shots with him but if you hit shots well if you've got good movement you can really punish enemies especially on certain maps and as well with this gadget i feel like this gadget is pretty high skill cap you can score some really good goals with a Colt on Brubble. you can just open the map up the way you really want to so i'm going to use super here i don't know if i'm going to score this no okay i think mortis should be able to score okay you can't either but yeah as i said colt is a really hard skill cap brawler mainly because his shots aren't really as rewarding to hit as many other brawlers like he's got really old school mechanics he's one of the og brawlers in the game and all these new brawlers have all these easier mechanics to understand well uh like are just better like colt's just literally just got these six i think six shots i don't even i don't even know how many bullets colt has i think he <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that you guys will correct me in the comment section anyway that's kind of a noob thing to really say but as i was saying a colt really is especially at the higher level he can completely shred people uh so you also see a lot of times in trick shot montages or just in general like people just love seeing colt gameplay because for them it can be really hard to actually use both star powers are really good as well you've got the speed for me i like a little bit more because i'm just better with my movement i'm just more faster so i like that See, let's not get our ankles broken inside of this. That would be a bit embarrassing. And especially at the higher level, in those 1v1s on like split. You mainly see Colt on like split. Um, you see him dual beetles. Probably like Hot Zone, honestly, is the best mode for Colt right now with that wall break gadget. Those 1v1 situations with Colt can be so, so clutch. And it takes a really good Colt with some good movement, with some good aim to really do damage. So we're pretty much pinned back here. We've got they're enough the same at comp both teams with crow and both teams with mortis so it'll be interesting to see how we fare off with this team so i'm just going to wall break all the way left so hopefully our mortis can score and he can nice 20 seconds left we should be able to hold on to this one so tips mainly with colt uh for me it's just old school really like you just got to analyze what people's movement patterns are make sure you're not wasting too much ammo make sure uh you can consistently hit those shots so for me i normally just save a couple of ammo pieces at a time so i can at least get a couple bullet bullets on a person but yeah they're the main tips for me so that's going to be colt the fourth high skill cap brawler in the game let's open to number three all right guys so moving on to the third high skill cap brawler in the game it's going to be sprout so maybe surprised by this but honestly i think sprout is so high skill cap i could have actually put him a little bit higher but people probably would disagree with me in the comments especially on siege i see so many good at sprout plays the likes of yoshi have you seen him competitive on ye's team he's such an amazing sprout he's made so many cool plays if you watched the last monthly finals like i myself i'm a decent sprout got chaos so many different good sprout players that just got so many interesting mechanics that can be so good especially i feel like the biggest thing for me is the sprout walls there's so many different walls you can place in so many certain areas that can basically stop the boss from actually getting any damage just like that so again i'll just place it over here it's just going to keep moving along and we should be able to defend this pretty easily but yeah just in general like sprout especially at the well the closer range brawlers as well it can be really hard to consistently hit shots on them so another skill cap for, uh, for him as well especially when brawlers are like behind walls as well it can be so hard to actually hit shots my team's unfortunately getting destroyed because i'm playing with randoms at like 920 trophies but don't really consider too much the gameplay because it can be hard to really showcase how high skill cap uh sprite actually is. so you can see a lot the crow is going so aggro it's actually hard to consistently hit those shots but if you're playing on certain maps as i said i think the siege ones are going to be the main ones for me which can really showcase how good sprout is and especially even like oj's videos like oj does cheese videos with sprout it just shows like how cool his mechanics actually are now he can manipulate it so fortunately our randoms just suck they're just giving up even though like i've defended this so well he's just going to give up but yeah that's going to be sprout he's going to be deferred High skill cap brawler in Brawl Stars. Let's hop into number two. All right, guys. So moving on to the second high skill cap brawler currently in Brawl Stars. It's going to be Dynamite. So you Dynamains are going to be loving this because the high skill cap uh, part of it really is the Dyna jumps. Like I, I did say in previous videos, like the Dyna jumps are just not really worth it a lot of the times. But there's a lot of high skill cap about it because there's a lot of potential to do really cool things with it. As you see, I'm just a trash Dynamite myself. I don't even know what I was doing there. I was trying to plan something cool, but... A lot of times, like the players like Lukey Bear, like Chippy, like all these good Dynamite players, they can get some really amazing clips and it can take so long to perfect all of these Dyna jumps. That's why like the mechanics are like limitless with the star power. So I kind of think it's a bad star power because 
like noobs use the star power and don't really do it any justice but honestly it's a really cool star power you can get so many cool different things with it and just dynamite in general as well now we talk about star power like the shots are hard to consistently hit in comparison to other brawlers i tried to do a skill there but really didn't do it too much we got primo jumping on us we can actually get the kill but in competitive i feel like dynamite probably is the one brawler which is hardest to actually consistently hit shots with to do well with because uh well it's just easy to dodge uh, people can just counter dynamite so easily he's got so many different counters that's hence why i think he's pretty high skill cap so we should be able to get the uh frank down there or at least the primo not really going too well is it guys like our our randoms are pretty trash in this video as always you guys probably i don't know if you guys like me complain about randoms but this is just how my brawl stars journey goes of course he's got 64 in his name as well and the odds that M gang Let's see if you can knock the primo out of the way i don't know if that we're gonna be able to stop it though oh oh okay we're able to stop it wow that was nearly tilting our primo oh the uh, mortis seems like he's gave up so yeah so you kind of know already now like dynamite really high skill cap you see so many awesome clips with him in comparison to other brawlers hence why he's so high skill cap so hopefully we can actually win this game if not i don't really mind we're playing on my mini at like 600 trophies so that's why i don't really care when i lose in these videos Hopefully Mortis, if he grabs the ball instead of charging into Frank, he could have actually scored that. Let's see if he's... There's no way. Oh. Okay. Nice. My randoms are just beautiful. My randoms are so good. I love them. I literally love them. Hopefully now, 10 seconds left. No, okay. Mortis just wants to run into a Rico Super. I may as well just leave this in because I just love Brawl Stars. I love Brawl Stars randoms. But <laughs> that's going to be the second high skill cap ruler in the game for sure. Let's hop into number one. All right, guys, so moving into the highest skill cap brawler, in my opinion, in the game, it's going to be Mortis. So this doesn't mean that because a lot of random Mortis can just play Mortis and Brawl Ball that you know, they're good at the game. That really doesn't mean that. But Mortis, as, a, as in general, in competitive and other ways, it can be really hard to perfect all of his interactions. Like a good Mortis can really do well on a team. Even in the hardest of matchups, they can just... Uh, no like when to go in when to go aggro when to chain their bats whatever else you see that a lot in competitive so the good examples of this in competitive are going to be the likes of Lenane and YDE they're like the two main ones I can think of and RZM like they really know their interactions with Mortis that's why they pop off consistently with them like I'm getting better with Mortis but not really the best doesn't mean I'm trash it just means I'm not good and not really played a lot with Mortis but uh as you see a lot of the times people can get a lot of Mortis is popular because of trick shots, but I don't think that's like the most skillful thing about him because at the end of the day, like as long as you score, you score. And for me, like <laughs> that is very wise from Spen LC. If you score, you score. Yeah, that's an amazing quote you can put in a comment section. But you get what I mean. Like trick shots aren't really the most skillful thing in Brawl Stars or the highest skill cap thing. I think it's just the mechanics of Mortis. Like you can basically win every single oh yeah my bats go into space so you can basically win like every interaction with Mortis if you play it perfect uh, perfectly if you've seen clips of Linane especially in competitive the way he can just chain his bats so well even when you think the game is over he can just turn it around just like that he's, there's not many brawlers in the game that, that have the ability to do that seriously so yeah Mortis for me has got to be the highest skill cap brawler in the game so that's why I'm trying to learn it because if you can get some cool clips with Mortis everyone just goes crazy it's just one it's just the main brawl in the game which people see a Mortis for like oh my god especially in competitive like oh my god no way they're so good and even if they don't do anything and they just play against an easy matchup like everyone just goes crazy because they're playing Mortis so yeah so now we need to try and win this game we can't be having losing it again in this video please just one one random have a single single brain cell please just a single brain cell Ego's gonna jump on us. I bet you any money. Okay, she's well, he's not. Cole, he's gonna. Okay, yep. Yeah, this is why I don't play Mortis, guys. And another miss, bats. This is just why I don't play Mortis, guys. No, I'm the best Mortis in the world. Definitely have not missed my bats several times and missed that goal. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing fine, guys. Thankfully, my B is carrying this Colt as lagged out as well, and that's going to be a win, even after doing nothing. But yeah, Mortis for me has to be the high skill cap ruler in the game. But tips for me is just really learning the interactions with Mortis. Try and cycle your bats really well, unlike I did in that game. So take tips. Do not play like I did in that game. Uh, always like line up and try and think in your head whether you can actually take down that brawler. But that's the most cases. But definitely with more but that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think are the most high skill skill cap brawlers 
in the game. I couldn't even get my words out there, but uh, the broaders that you struggle with, yeah, put it down in the comment section below. But that's going to be it. Make sure you're uh, liking the video. Make sure you're commenting. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Use code SPEND in the shop. That's going to be it. I'll see you guys next time.